This is a space of liberation and healing. This is a space of reflection and learning. This is a space of challenge and question. This is a space to let your soul dance. Welcome. A body of water inside me reminds me of oceans I've never known one I'm born by a cold one It's only a small one compared This week I'm feeling many different emotions They're all on top of each other And I feel like everything's gonna be fine But then I feel like everything's just falling down around me And I also feel like I think the reason why I'm feeling like this Is because I keep comparing myself to others but i'm staying in my lane and um i'm not gonna stress myself over everything and blessings is coming my way little by little i'm gonna be living my life like it's golden my day has been disgusting i would give this day a two out of ten everything about today has not made me happy like if y'all know me i laugh all day any day anything i don't think i cracked a laugh at least none today like i should be really stressed out with the school work like trying to make sure that i'm like taking doing self-care i don't even know what self-care is at this point i'm not really supposed to be talking about it. and i wanted to have like this happy reflection like, but no i'm pissed off i'm blue i feel like there's so much that goes on with like the need of support and family. You need the people in your life that you love to support you the most. Cause it's hardships, you know? It's not like, I can't study, I'm doing bad. It's outside mess and tension and outside garbage that's kind of polluting my success here. And that's the problem. Like, I feel like in our community, it's not enough support and it shouldn't be that way. That's just what I'm going through. Today, turned out tired. So like I've been studying for the past few days, even though I just got back forever. Just trying to pull through for the finals week and everything and still have everything that is going on at home on my mind too. And trying to balance everything and keep the stability in my life here at Monmouth and then as a student and then as a daughter and a sister at home. I'm not going to be studying abroad. Or next year, forget about next year, we're going to go into the future and I'll study abroad my senior year and see how that goes. Oh yeah, that's about it I guess. Nothing really spectacular other than finals. So starting off with my day, my day was pretty good. I've had a decent week so far, my week hasn't been too crazy, I've had different assignments and papers that I had to work on but nothing too bad and yesterday was a really good day, had the holiday party and today hasn't been that bad either. Um, I've been able to get a lot of stuff done uh, between today and yesterday so I can kind of enjoy my weekend. Hello world, so it is an eventful 3.02 okay in the morning and Earlier today, Denzel told me that she wasn't going to be able to go home for Thanksgiving. So I was like, hmm, we have to get Denzel home some way, somehow. I mean, we knew tickets were going to be expensive and this and that, and that's part of the reason why we couldn't, like, you know, figure it out. But, like, an hour ago, it came to me that, like, Denzel needs to go home. So, like, I go on Amtrak.com, and I, like, put in all the information, and there's one ticket for $17. So, basically, I was like, holy and Marilyn's here with me. I was like, Marilyn, we gotta buy this ticket. Like, that was for her. Like, that's Denzel's ticket. That's why, like, I'm awake right now. I, like, can buy the <laughs> ticket. And, like, she can, you know, go home for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so I texted Denzel. She was probably asleep. It was, like, 2 in the morning. She asked me, like, how I did it. I'ma just quote Terry when she said we have God moments and... Who, you know, there's just really no explanation for it. Like, who else is gonna be up this late doing a research paper that's due in like two weeks um, and wanting to buy this ticket? Me! I know, like, it's God doing His work. It's our our ancestors doing their work and ensuring that we can take care of ourselves now and like in the future. I just got my glow today, actually. Um, I realized how much I miss being a mentor to people, even if my work went unrecognized. Mm -hmm. And my girl, 
I need to work on letting people who has who have power not control how I feel about myself. My girl, I'm not too tired to go home because there's some things going on at home that I'm not preparing or ready to confront. I guess my mm -hmm. flow last week and the beginning of this week has been very busy and I've been working and doing all my puzzles and everything. But today I just went to one class and. I don't know if I'm too. Mm -hmm. so, my flow is I'm going to go with this Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, my growth is to just like finish from like not, you know, stack off the house. Mm -hmm. But just finish from the information. Uh, my glow. This week has been really, really busy, but. I had my interview with State Farm yesterday, so that went, that went well. And then my grow is probably getting ready to go home. I uh, work, I don't want to go back to work, and family stuff, but it should be fun. You have never been unsupported. At the very least, you have the cells of your body becoming so that you can be trees and plants, breathing life into your Earth's gravity keeping you grounded ancestry, proving to you that life will go on. What do you think it took for your ancestors to make it through? Let's see. Um, when I, when the prom, it made me think about your service you gave, and like how you said to be quiet because you are your grandparents, like your ancestors' prayers. Like, you know, like, especially like during, like, like slavery times, I'm quite sure they had the faith that I'm gonna do this hardship so that my future children won't have to do it for me. Mm -hmm. So like, the thought of having someone else to look up to, like, someone else to take off what you had is the, what made them get through it. That's like, like, my nieces, like, I be tired of school, but like, I know I gotta do it for them to get through it. So like, they're the reasons why I get through things. So like, the future generations. I think what made our ancestors get through, especially our ancestors, when I think of it, I think of patience and hope. Like, I feel like they knew that in one day, like, the little stuff they do, like, one step at a time, that things will get better eventually. And that's what kind of, like, kept their sanity and hope that people will realize, like, that this is in inhumane, like, their treatment was inhumane and that, you know, they'd be free and, like, one day that their sons and their family and their legacy would have something better, you know, through just being there for each other, through that support, through their community, you know, I feel like is what really unified them and what allowed them to pretty much survive through like the hardships that they went through, you know, like through that, like through that community and through their own hope and patience, they were able to push through. Um, well, when I think of my ancestors, I think of like, like spirituality, I guess. But the ancestors, I think of spirituality. And because my dad would always say like, your ancestors are in you, like you have their blood. Mm -hmm. With me, like being more mostly like a spiritual person, having that spiritual connection with my ancestors is valued a lot. And like, not it's not only like their actions, but their foundation was spirituality mm -hmm. as they were going through everything. And because they went through that in that way, or at least in that form or whatever, I feel like I go through things in that way too, or at least I try to. Like I try to imitate that, you know, because I mean, obviously they went you know, through a lot and I can never, I probably wouldn't even be able to survive everything that they were able to go through. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of one of those things that keeps me founded. I think like it took faith and prayer for them to make it through what they was going through. Mm -hmm. Them just knowing that like they work is not in vain and like God will see them through. Like just having that faith. Also, I think like I'm still stuck on what Taylor I was talking about, like have that, you already have that blood in you. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you know like, that's really powerful. I'm like shook, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, too low, too low. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if, like, what will we need to make it through? Oh, we, we just talked about our, yeah, we just talked about our ancestors and what they had to make it through. What do we have to make it through? I think it depends on every person. I know what, like, I know what I need to make it through, I guess. I need to get more in touch with my spirituality because, especially now, especially during finals week, it's more than freaking anything. <laughs> 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 you need that for real. <laughs>
That's my <laughs> question you answer and see if you make it through. Because you ever participate in something and you be like, I'm about to die. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah. And then when it's done, you be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Like, you don't know what you need to make it through until you're done. With For it. real. Okay. Come on. Maybe we already know. <laughs> Well, they would. Maybe we already have like, it. Yeah, the yeah. answers, there's so much that tells us that we they, we don't have the answers. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> you ain't got the answers! <laughs> the answers, like, we always have them. We just mm -hmm. haven't ac accessed them yet. Mm -hmm. They're, like, here in yeah. this Come on. body, like, Come this on. mind, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, they haven't... Surface yeah. yeah. Okay. The end. The end. Um, Bye. 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 It's <laughs> Bradley, I will feel no love. Oh, my son, my mind being sure I don't need no Woke up this morning with my mind. Said I love me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot.